Is it worth it to buy a triple booster pack set? You might find this product at your local retailer, such as Walmart or Target, for about $12 US. In it, you will receive three booster packs from various random sets and a foil promotional card. But the question is, are the contents of this product worth the $12 price tag? As a helpful note, you are sometimes able to make out the code on the sides of each booster pack to help determine which set each pack is from. But at times it is difficult to make out this code, making this method very inconsistent. As for the promo, it'll vary, but most of the time you'll get cards such as Angelic Skirmisher and the Outland Colossus. While it is by no means a common find, rare finds such as the Stalking Tiger have been reported as the promo, but in my searches I've never found any of these. So let's look at our promo card. The Outland Colossus foil version goes for less than a dollar. There are so many of these on the market due to these packs and people pulling them that there's no value to them. It's not a card that sees constructed play and really the only way you find it is perhaps in a cube or some obscure commander deck. But this and the Angelic Skirmisher are such underplayed cards, they hold no monetary value, even as a foil. So if you're looking for a valuable promotional card, if you can call either of these a promo, if you cannot find the Stalking Tiger, this is not the product for you. Let's look at this in terms of cracking a booster pack. For $12, you're saving a few cents off each pack as most retail for $4.19 US. So for three booster packs, you're paying $4 on each. I guess some savings is better than none at all, but regardless, my stance has always been to just buy the individual cards you need for your constructed decks and let cracking of packs be reserved for drafting. More often than not, cracking of packs will lose you money more than it will gain you any, and very seldom will net you any cards you're looking for. The booster packs range from sets like Cons of Tarkir to Journey to Nyx to older sets such as Gatecrash. As all booster packs are, these are a gamble. And while the rare occurrence may happen, where value may be cracked, I find it not worth the risk to crack a booster pack for value or cards. Now on the flip side, if you were to buy one of these for each of your friends and all of you draft using them, then you will be getting a lot more value out of these. Since most drafts give you 3 packs each and this product comes with 3 packs, this would be a great random drafting environment to use these for that purpose. And so they would be a much more fun investment, provided you have the lands to add to your decks. But at the end of the day, these products do not give a return value of the $12 price tag if you're opening them for value. I do not recommend these for anyone looking for value or for individual cards. With the money you would spend opening individual booster packs to get the amount of cards you would need for your constructed decks, you could just as easily buy them individually from your local game store or an online site and you would have a lot of money to spare. I hope this video has been of some use to you. You can help us out at the Planeswalker Project by remembering to like and share this video with your Magic the Plathering playgroup. Also, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you, and I hope you consider becoming a subscriber today. And with that, I will see you all in the next video.